Well, hello there. It's Suge here. Now, I've gotten asked this about 10 times already this uh, late fall, or is it early fall? Early is people wondering if they, uh, how low they can get if they put their under quilt and a pad together. Does that, does that help them get to lower temperatures? Yes, indeed it does. It's about 31 degrees right now. Getting ready to crawl in here. So what tonight's experiment is, is I'm sleeping on my three-quarter climate sleeping pad, which has a rating, I think, of a 1.3, which is good to about 48 degrees. And on the outside of my hammock, I have my Wilderness Logic Summer Series underquilt. It's about a 40-degree underquilt with sewn-through baffles. And with that, I'm sleeping with my 20-degree top quilt, and I have my Thermarest foot pad inside the foot box of my top quilt. So we can take a look and see for some of you folks out there that want to do a little bit of cold weather camping. You're kind of new to this. Maybe you have a sleeping pad. You should have that from your tent days. And you have an under quilt. Maybe it's a 40 degree or a 30 degree. But you want to get down to a little bit colder. So we're going to put the pad and the under quilt together. A pad, when you're sleeping on it on the ground, it's insulating you from the cold ground. Even if the ground doesn't feel cold, it will be. Through the night it's sucking the heat out of your body whereas an under quilt you know is hanging up underneath your hammock and it's capturing the heat from your body that you already have and keeping you warm that way uh, your enemy there are like breezes and cold air blowing underneath now in a hammock uh, if you sometimes if you sleep with just a pad and the weather's cold but you have this heat coming out of your body you can get a little condensation on a pad. Everybody's a little different with the way they sweat and put the heat out from their body and the way that cold air outside is hitting the warm air, the warmer air from the pad with your body heat on it. So, uh, alright. I've said too much. I'll say no more until the morning. See ya. And this pad has an R value of 1.3, which is about 48 degrees. And the underquilt, of course, is about 40 degrees. And we got down last night to 27. It's 33 right now. That's the thermodrop thermometer. And let me uh, see what the low was. I'll hold the little button. And our low was 29 last night. Slept in a pair of light merino wool tights and merino wool shirt. And pretty much wearing this uh, orange shirt underneath this. What I slept in last night, a shirt I've been wearing in videos for at least 10 or 12 years now. And, and slept fine. So my conclusion is, yes, if your under quilt is light, add a pad to it and it'll get you down. But let's talk about the R value of your pad. So a lot of you have these kind of pads, if you're a backpacker, closed cell foam, uh, something similar to this, whether it has the ridges or not. They have an R value of about 2 to 2.1, 2.1, 2.2, you're, you're just above freezing. Now if you have something like a Neo Air, one of those models, you're probably good down to about 28 degrees. If you have a ProLite Thermarest, that's going to be above freezing. So look at the R value of your pad to give you an idea of what your pad will get you to on the ground. The R value measures the capacity to resist heat flow. Resist. R. That's what the R stands for, to resist the heat flow coming from you through that pad to the ground and that cold ground coming up into you. That's my understanding of it. I'm going to put a link below in the description box, right down below this video, that you can click on and will take you to an R value chart to give you an idea in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Make sure when you go to sleep, you know, people will stand around going, man, I'm cold. I'm going to go crawl in my sleeping bag or get in my hammock. Get warm before you crawl in. Do some jumping jacks, run in place for a minute, have a hot drink, take a couple of laps around camp, go down and fill up your water. Do a few chores to get yourself warmed up. You know, sling your arms, get these hands warm. Get yourself just a little bit warm before you crawl in and you will have a warmer night's sleep because then your body's warm and in something like an underquilt, what I'm sitting in here, you know, it's like this down jacket I'm wearing. It's not creating heat for you. It's what's happening is the heat from my body is going into this down in here, which is why you see geese and ducks and all that swimming on these really cold lakes. Their heat is being held inside this down. So it's holding the heat that you have in you 
uh, in here. So if you're looking at R values, well the higher the R value, the more insulation there is. So that four is gonna be twice the insulation value of your two pad. Something like this pad I showed you right here, or most pads that you inflate, um, you can adjust your, your level. If they're fully blown up, you're gonna get a little more insulation. If you've got a, you know, let's say you've got a, a pad like this and a 40 degree under quilt and you want to go camping in 30 degree weather ah, this is going to get you by you know you'll you'll be okay the important thing is make sure that you don't bring like a 40 degree top quilt make sure your top quilt or your sleeping bag is you know if you're going camping out in uh, let's say 28 degree weather try to bring a 20 degree one you know it's nicer if you're kind of worried about your under insulation to have a little bit more insulation on top uh, something else people ask is uh, can they put two pads in let's say they got two summertime pads like uh, you got a closed cell foam let's just say this is rated at two and you have like an RAI pro light which is probably let's just let's just say it's three so just uh, add those R values together you got a five that's gonna get you lower and that'll get you through the night you just might have to tuck some something behind your arms in a hammock to keep you warm or look for a wider pad I guess the bottom line is at the end of the day when it's all said and done you get out there you're thinking of going on a cold weather trip your friends are going it's gonna be 25 degrees you don't feel like your gear will get you there double it up now a lot of that depends on you what do you sleep in are you over insulated are you under insulated are you a cold sleeper are you a warm sleeper is it a damp night is it a windy night is it a dry cold night so a lot of these little things come into play but you know if you bring two pads and go camping out in cold weather in a hammock you're uh and, and i am talking hammocks here specifically you'll make it and even if you get a little bit cold well you might have to get up early early in the morning and jog in place or something if you want to go back to sleep you won't die you at the worst thing that can happen is you just have a cold night shivering and we all had those as boy scouts in the 70s now i have a way that i like to stay warm want to see We all stay warm differently. Mm -hmm. Ain't no count. Mm -hmm. Double up. Because mm. it's always good to do a little bit of your own research because it just teaches you more about it other than listening to me who may not even know what he's talking about but you're listening anyway. But hey, double check the facts.